Hey, everybody. <laughs> Look at that. Now it's back. You ever had one of those mornings where it's just like, I mean, you get out of bed and stump your toe kind of thing. You still have to keep going, though, right? Hey, folks, this is 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, and uh, today we might talk about stumping our toe. I don't know. I've been sitting here fiddling around with the camera for five or six minutes because it had this funky haze thing going to it. So I'm like, all right, I got it mostly cleared up and then start the show and it goes away. Just have faith in the process. Anyway, how y'all doing this morning? I hope you are doing well. If you are joining me live or on the replay, please leave me a little comment down there. Let me know that you are here. And uh, just say hi, bye, your hair's funny, like the video, any of the above, all of the above, actually, would be fine. I just appreciate knowing that you are here. So this week, man, this week has just flown by, hasn't it? It's Thursday already. Heading into, I have to keep reminding myself, we're heading into a holiday weekend. Um, Labor Day is Monday, and that means a lot of folks are knocking off tomorrow. Not me. I'll be here. At least I'll be working until about 7.15. Um, I'll be here with another show tomorrow. We'll keep talking about obstacles, how you can get around them. And today I want to talk about when you should stop. Right? And I think, uh, see, I can't see it now. Remember what I titled the show there. Let me just see if I can... No. So there are times when you encounter obstacles. We've talked about obstacles all week this week, and there are times when you encounter them where you just have to work around them. I mean, there's there's no there's no other option. It's just what you have to do. And in fact, we even talked about how with some experience, obstacles, the next time they come up, don't really look like obstacles anymore. And then yesterday we talked about now, sometimes it's pretty convenient to use an obstacle as an excuse to stop. Or, we don't say that. We use it as an excuse to say, well, this is really important, so I have to, I have to spend some time here getting this one fixed. Right? And then we allow ourselves to use that as a distraction, an excuse, something to not continue to pursue our goal. Well, today I want to talk about when should you allow yourself to get distracted. I said yesterday, about 98% of the time, you don't need to uh, be distracted by whatever that obstacle is. You don't have to stop. Uh, you don't have to stop to figure out all the details. In reality, once you get to that goal, you might look back and think, man, that wasn't even really an obstacle at all, was it? Well, sometimes there are things that you need to fix. Sometimes there are things that are worth spending some time on. How do you know when to do that? That's what I want to talk about this morning. Hey, Jeremy, good morning. Yeah, and thankful Thursday. We'll get to that in just a minute, I hope. So, <clears throat> If you know the outcome that you're trying to achieve, if you know the goal that you set and you're on the path to get to uh, that goal, and then something presents itself, it may even be disguised as an opportunity. This happens all the time. You're marching, you're dead set, you're right on track to get to your goal, and then somebody comes in and says, hey, will you come over here and help me with this thing? Hey, here's a great opportunity, uh, and, and it kind of fits with what you're doing. Okay, but I'm focused on getting this thing done, right? Sometimes you do need to look at those things, right? A good friend of mine, Dan Miller, says, uh, if three people ask you the same question, that's a product opportunity, right? That's at least worth exploring. If you're going, pursuing your goal, let's say your goal, I was working um, with the folks in the Idea Suck workshop last night, and we were talking about validating your idea. If you are working toward this goal and you've decided that this is the solution, this is the path that I am working toward, and as you validate it and test it, you talk to 3 to 10 to 20 people and all of them tell you the same thing, that's not an obstacle for you to overcome. It's a pivot for you to make. They're telling you exactly what the problem is or what the missing feature is. 
that you need to adjust to in order to meet their needs and, and get their business. So do that. That's one circumstance where you have to pivot off of the line that you've laid out for yourself. I mean, you have to come up with that idea and that path in order to get started, but that's why we test and validate, is to get input from the people who will actually be the consumers of that uh, product or service. Now, what if it's not something you're building for somebody else? What if it's a personal goal that you're trying to achieve? I'll give you a personal example. How about that? I'll even maybe overshare. Right now I'm about 230 pounds. Been 230 pounds for a while. I kind of like to get down to around 200 pounds. Right? Made super progress for a while. I mean, over the course of, I don't know, two or three weeks, dropped 10 pounds, got down to 220, got that, that, teen number to show up there at 219 and like rocking and rolling right and then all this other stuff started happening and and I quit being diligent I stopped being diligent about measuring I didn't I still eat the way I've been eating I still I, I've backed off the exercise because until I go to the doctor today but um, I still eat the way I eat I don't splurge every once in a while but I stopped being diligent about measuring. And then the other day, I hopped on the scale. Ten pounds are back. I lost them. They found me. Right? I don't know. It just happens that way. Right? So what happens when you do that? Right? You set a goal for yourself. You're moving in that direction. Some obstacle comes up. And, you know, in my case, a little bit of a health issue. I'm going to get that figured out and get back on the road. Right? But when do you need to pivot? Right? When do you need to say, yeah, maybe dropping that extra, you know, 20 pounds, not that big a deal. Right? You have to maintain the view of the end game. Right? For me, losing, you know, 10 or 20 pounds, in my mind, that moves me toward being able to enjoy the day to day more. Right? That's part of the healthy out of the threads. Time, health, relationships. Right? I want to be able to, it, it does no good to be successful, right? To have a bunch of free time, you can't walk across the parking lot, right? So that's kind of what it is for me. But in the end, right, my bigger goal, that's just one step in getting there. So if something comes along and knocks me off of that path, okay, it happens. You know, I don't beat myself up for it. I don't. Ah, uh, you're stupid. Ah, uh, you can't do anything. Ah, uh, you'll never achieve this goal. No, it's just I got distracted from that. Is it still part of my long-term outcome that I'm trying to achieve? If it is, I'll pick it back up again. If it's not, or that long-term outcome has changed a little bit, then I change my goal. See, a plan, this is one of my favorite quotes. Uh, it's from Eisenhower, right? Plans are worthless, but planning is priceless. And plans are worthless because of a patent quote, quoting World War II generals today, you know, no plan survives first contact with the enemy. But he went on to say, but you should never be without a plan, right? Because it is that planning process that helps you think through all of those things. Here, but what we do is we think, all right, I've got the plan, now let me chisel them into stone like the Ten Commandments. Nah. I mean, a plan's a plan. Right? You're either performing to plan or you're not. If you get six months into the year, think about it this way. You set out a financial plan for this year for your business. You get six months into the year and you're not performing to plan. Do you quit? No. You have to find a way to recoup that to get back on track. If you're overperforming, do you take the rest of the year off? No. Well, you're not performing to plan. You're overperforming. So what should you do? Should you fire some customers? No. A plan is just a plan. Use it for what it's for, what it's for, for the planning process, and then adjust as you need to. I hope something in there has been helpful for you. Right? Listen to the feedback from those people around you, from your customers, and remember on your personal goals, plan is just a plan. If you need to restart, restart. If you need to adjust, adjust. Don't beat yourself up 
for deviating off the plan. All right? That's the real message today. We'll be back tomorrow today. Oh, as Jeremy said, today is Thursday. That means it's Thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for today? If you are so inclined, drop that in the comments. We love to share those messages of thankfulness and encouragement every day with the people that uh, we meet with here in the morning. I'll be back tomorrow with the Friday installment. So Friday is Free Coaching Friday. If you have a question or a topic you would like for me to take, send me a message uh, either here on the Facebook page or an email direct to me, Tom, at TomRigsby.com. And uh, if I get a good question or topic there, we will cover that tomorrow. All right, that's it. Jeremy, thank you for being here. Whoever the lurker is out there that hadn't said hi yet, good morning to you too. And for all of you that watch on the replay, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.